Hey friends, so this is not about ocean animals or dinosaurs. Um, this goes back to what we were learning the last full week we were together in school about polar animals. We're going to review that a little bit. So this is called Pup and Bear and it's by Katie Banks and Napio Na Na Stoop. We started this in class, but we didn't get to finish it and then we're learning from home for two weeks. So. Miss Amber thought she would record it for you guys. Whoosh! When the great gray owl swooped down, screeching, Hoo, hoo, the Arctic. Jamie Hunter. I cannot read to the kids if you sit on my book. The Arctic wolves knew that the big freeze was on its way. You see all the ice, the ice floating in the ocean. They took shelter in a snowdrift and they listened to the furious wind holler and roar. They watched the snow blow in spirals wrapping around the world in a fluffy white coat. So we see a big snowstorm, some icicles hanging down from the cave. It's really cold there. But then the wind's bitter cold breath turned warm and the sun appeared. The big melt came and one lone pup found itself on a sheet of ice spinning out to sea. Oh no, it's all by itself. That's not good at all. The pup slid into the water. He swam and he swam. When he reached land, he burrowed into a snowbank. He was tired and he wanted his mother. The pup closed his eyes and fell asleep, listening to the throb of silence across the still landscape. He woke up to the feel of a cold nose against his fur. The smell was familiar. It was a polar bear. You're not my mother, said the pup, flattening his ears against his head. I'm not your mother, said the polar bear, but I can cuddle you up and keep you safe. The pup was shy and frightened. Are you going to eat me, he asked. Polar bears eat wolves. Not this one, said the polar bear, shaking her head. Climb on my back and I will take you to my den. The pup stretched her paw forward cautiously. Then he climbed onto the polar bear's back. And they crossed the tundra under the watchful eye of a trio of baby puffins learning to fly. We have a trio means three. So we have one, two, three baby puffins. They're a type of bird. Back at the den, the polar bear licked and cleaned the pup. I'm not your mother, she said, but I can feed you and keep you warm. The next day, they set off across the wintry tundra. When they spotted a walrus with long, sharp tusks, the polar bear bellowed and chuffed. It's a walrus. Where are we going? asked the pup as they neared the water. I'm not your mother, said the polar bear, but I can show you where to catch a fish. They passed a snow goose perched on a nest of eggs. The goose. They sniffed the trail of a seal as he tried to outsmart them. This is a seal. And they stopped at the water's edge where the fish and the lemmings came and went into the wonderful, wonder, wondrous wheel of life. The polar, ugh, if I can read, the sun shone down on the crisp crackling snow and the polar bear rolled in a snowbank. Come on, she said to the pup. I'm not your mother, but I can play with you. But when the pup tugged too hard on the polar bear's fur, the bear growled. I'm not your mother, she said, but I can scold you. Then she nuzzled the pup and tickled his tummy. Tired at last, the pup curled up against the bear, and they napped, listening to the wind whimper and sigh. The earth turned around and around, and the big freeze came, followed by another big melt, until at last the polar bear nudged the wolf, who wasn't a puppy anymore. I am not your mother, she said, but I know it's time for you to go. She nuzzled the wolf one last time, and the wolf nuzzled her back.
Then he walked out into the wide world. The wolf howled to the midnight sun, which glowed into the horizon, where the day had ended and the night began, and he was answered by a cry of another wolf. Soon, he was leading his own pack across the frozen tundra. Let's count how many wolves there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then one day, the wolf came upon a polar bear cub huddled in a snowdrift. Where's your mother? asked the wolf. But the cub didn't know. The wolf sniffed the cub and rubbed its wet fur with its fur with its wet nose. You are not my mother, the polar bear cub said, cowering. I'm not your mother, said the wolf, but I can cuddle you and keep you warm. Aren't you going to eat me? asked the cub. Wolves eat polar bears. Not this one, said the wolf, shaking his head. Climb on my back and I will take you to my den. The, the polar bear climbed onto the wolf's back. I'm not your mother, said the wolf, but you can stay with me until you're big enough to be on your own. And the wolf led the pack back across the tundra along the path and that went round and round into the wondrous wheel of life. And now we have some polar bears. How many polar bears? One, two, three. The end.